Welcome to 25 and Broke, where I teach you how to stop being broke financially, socially, physically, and spiritually so that you can stop being a wuss and start being a winner. Today we're discussing how you show up. So this is a question that I'm fascinated by, right? Because so many people choose to show up uh, the wrong way in life, right? So whether they're showing up for work or you're showing up for, um, you know, a business opportunity, you're showing up to a, an interview, or you're just showing up to a, a family gathering or hanging out with your friends, going out for drinks, grabbing a beer. How do you show up, right? So uh, I'm going to share a quick story here for a second. Um in one of my previous businesses, uh, one of my business partners, uh, he had a problem at that time with how he showed up. He would show up to work almost every day consistently for probably three to four months as this depressed, um, kind of down in the dumps, just negative ass person. And you could just see it in his body language. He'd walk into the office with his shoulders kind of dropped and slunched over and his head kind of looking down at the floor. And I remember it was just like like everybody was happy and positive and then he would walk in and his energy would just take over the room and it not in a positive way, in a negative way. And immediately people, I could see that they responded differently. They reacted to his energy. Um, and their energy was brought down a little bit. So eventually it got to the point uh, where he was affecting our employees. He was bringing down my team. Well, that's a problem because I need my team to be positive and energized so that they could go out and produce and do the best things that I'm, I'm paying them to do. And here he is as an owner in the, the business bringing down the business, bringing down the people. So I had this conversation with him and just got in his face about it and just pretty much, you know, fast forward, I told him to man up and understand the impact he's having on his team, on his business in a negative way. And if he wants to hit those goals that he's told me he wants to hit both personally and professionally, right now he's sabotaging his own efforts. And, you know, let's tie this back into you right now in your life. How are you showing up right now? Okay, so when you walk into a room, are you the negative guy? Are you the guy that when people ask, hey, how are you doing today? You say something like, well, not so bad, or, well, I'm hanging in there, or some other negative, just like bring me down, suck my energy type of response. You know those people, right? You've seen them, right? You ask them how they're doing, and it, their answer just kind of takes a little something out of you, doesn't it? Well, that's a problem, right? So don't be that guy. Be the guy that walks into the room and literally lights people up. You walk in with this high energy, this charisma, this, and, and I get it, right? Not everybody's wired that way. But does that mean you should settle? Does that mean you should be negative? Absolutely not. Every single person I believe is capable of being positive. That's something we all have control over, regardless of your temperament or your personality type. So the next time you walk into a room, literally be intentional about it, right? So before you walk in, you know, do something, say something. A, a little shortcut I've used is, and I borrowed this from uh, the great motivational speaker, Tony Robbins. Um, I'll say like a mantra of sorts. Uh, so before I go into an event, especially if I have to speak on stage or something like that, um, I'll say I'll, I'll jazz myself up, especially if it's a crappy day or, you know, I'm just dealing with a lot of stuff and I'm all stuck in my head and, or I don't want to be at that place that I'm headed into, but I'm going out of obligation or commitment. So I'll say uh, this mantra. I now command my subconscious mind to direct me in helping as many people as possible today to better their lives by giving me the strength, the emotion, the humor, the brevity, whatever it takes to show these people and get these people to change their lives now. And I clap at the end, right, for that impact, for that wow. And every time I do that, even right now, I'm energized, I'm powered up, I'm jazzed, I'm ready to go. I literally just changed my state, my emotional state. You have that same power. I submit, try it. 
Stop accepting your own excuses of how you show up. Stop saying, well, you know, uh, I'm going through a lot right now, so I have every single right to show up and be this negative Nancy type character and woe is me and, and, you know, other people should kind of feel bad for me and show up to my pity party. Listen, people are going through their own struggles. Nobody wants to attend your pity party. They already have their own that's been running every day of their lives. So don't be that guy. Listen, you're better than that. So I'm Joseph Warren, and you are made for greatness. So stop being a wuss and start being a winner. See you tomorrow. Peace.